That's because I put my microphone on the other side of the room and didn't attach it to my apron. Yeah, and you were also you were barely audible, audible on YouTube, too. So that's well, that, that would be the same thing, you betcha. Let's see. So let, let's go back over the romper room thing. We got Shell in YouTube, and we got Lee in YouTube. Good morning, Joe, and Shell again, and Char, or Shell again, Jackie. Good morning, Jackie. Like I said, it's uh, cold here in Oklahoma as well. Denise D'Onofrio is in there. Good to see her today. Probably down there in Florida. Might be a little warmer, maybe rainy. Troy in Ohio. Hopefully the weather's good there for you today. Catherine in Columbia. I hope your weather's great in Columbia. Marion. Jay Lee Lee in Georgia. Welcome. Too bad it's raining, but you know, that's why it's so green down there. And we got Emma Handy. And Jonna Woods. All right. Is that Jonna or is that uh, the other Woods? Can't remember all the names. <laughs> Sheila's in YouTube. Jonna. And over in Discord, we got Lee and Catherine and Sheila and me. And let's see, Lee, did you put the link in there yet? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm going to go over to, over to the YouTubes here. Let's see. Let's go to the YouTubes. It's a couple of posts underneath the breakfast. Nice. We love some breakfast. I went out and got donuts on the way home. I've been up since 630, took Kevin to work. Oh, Troy's in New Hampshire. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Troy, we used to live in New Hampshire, Portsmouth, Dover, and down there in Kittery, Maine, back in the uh, mid-80s, many moons ago. Lee, are we live on? Uh... We are live on YouTube. How about Twitch? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't have Twitch. I mean, nobody's speaking. Nobody's speaking in the comments, but yeah, it says it's four minutes long. That's weird. All right, let me go see if I can. Uh... Oop, got to go find something here. Where is the? Okay, Saturday morning turning. Let's go look at that. Let's see. Okay, what is Discord? J. Lee Lee. As soon as I find that link, I'm going to post it up. There we go. I'm going to pin it at the top of the screen. And Discord is an application that allows us to all communicate by voice and sometimes video. So that's pretty exciting. So you're welcome to click on that link and join in there with us. Let me see. What's up with... Uh, let me Don Spolly says good morning from Twitch. Let 
Why? Live now, live. Okay. Yep. Don's Folly says good morning from Twitch. Ah, there we go. Hello, Don's Folly. Okay, do we got that in Twitch as well? Let me go put that Discord link in Twitch. Create the invite, copy. Um, Hang on one second, Catherine. You got to figure out why this blaster isn't blasting more. Yeah, and for those in Twitch, the there's the for those in Twitch, there's the uh, Discord link. Let me. Uh... Oh, it's all frozen. That's why. Now that guy overfilled it. You know when you overfill these propane things. They, uh, it needs expansion at the top of the propane tank in order to expand because it's liquid on the inside. Yep. And anytime you go from liquid to gaseous, it gets very, very cold or reduce the pressure, I should say. Yeah. That's probably more appropriate. I'm sorry. Hang, on one, hang on one second. I can't really hear much. I'm on the other side of the shop here. Yep, that's what he was saying. That's what he was saying. But we'll leave this alone because I don't want to play with this because we only got about two and a half hours together this morning. And then I've got to uh, go to the post office for Carrie and mail everything she's packed up. Then I got to come back and I do got to do a podcast for an hour. And then I've got a hypnotherapy session with a client. That'll take me till about six o'clock in the evening. Then I'll be back in here and uh, turning again. <laughs> okay. The first thing I want to do for some friends are show them how to remove these dragon scales. So let's see. We can see that on screen. Let me go check. Oh, you mean remove them from the mold? Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Remove the scales. Yeah, I'm growing dragon scales on my back now. I need to get them off. So you, you pull this end down here, and then you can hear. And by the way, normally this Alumilite Slow Clear is demoldable in about four hours. But that would be in a very easy mold like this one here where it just pops out. But when you have a mold that has lots of stuff in it, I usually sit, leave these sit for 8 to 10 hours to get a bit harder so they're not flexible. So essentially you pull this end down, and then you pull this end down, usually both fingers on, or both thumbs on either side, and then just start tucking it down like this. See, that just snapped there, but that's okay. Because then I grab some object that is somewhat blunt, like these tweezers here, and I put it in the open space here, and then I use that to leverage against as I'm pulling these up. And eventually, they just start sliding right out. So that's how you remove these here. And then they look really good. And even though this cracked in half, when you bring out your other mold, you simply, you got to clean up these edges so it's nice, but you just take them and put them down in your mold like that. Of course, I got to trim these up a little bit first to make them fit right, but <laughs> it essentially goes right down in your mold like that, and you pour your second color in. So we'll leave those. I'll clean those up in a minute. So we're doing a cobalt and gold uh, dragons. And, and once you leave them sit and get hard for a while, they come out a whole lot easier. Hopefully you can see me. Now, if I'm pulling it over there, you can't see it. So let me get it like this here. Because I got to bring it close to my body and use my body for leverage. But you can see it starts coming out. You take your tweezers, stick it there in the part that's clear, and you just sort of just gently massage it out. 
and it comes out absolutely beautifully. And then I'm going to write these folks and say, hey, check out the first part of my video. And then, boom, I have another cobalt one. Good morning, KK. Morning, KK. Same thing here with the gold one. Sometimes you can break that edge off if you want. In here, and then I use a belt sander just to clean up the edge or sandpaper on the flat spot. But again, pull it down. And you can hear all of these dragon scales pop as they let go on the inside. And then stick your tweezers in there and just ease them on out. And you can see what I'm doing here on the side. Took me a while to figure this out. I broke a few of them as I was pulling them out. And I do not use mold release on these molds. And the reason I don't use mold release on these molds is I had an experience that caused the additional resin I poured around this for the body and the field of the mold to not perfectly adhere to what was here in the beginning. So now later on today, I'm going to pour these just opposite. So I'll pour cobalt around this gold and I'll pour gold around the cobalts. And there's, those are that. All right. Uh, Shell wants to know if that's a new mold, new dragon mold, or if it's the same design as the Spangler pen. It is the same design as the Spangler pen, but I have worn out all these molds, literally. I've poured so many Spanglers that all these molds now are no good, <laughs> no longer good. So I went through these three here, and I think I got about 10 out of each one. And the reason they're no good is these little fine parts right in here, the little dragon spikes on the back, all the rubber comes off down inside. So you no longer get the definition of those. The rest of it's fine, but you lose those little feathers. Do dragons have feathers? Whatever that thing is off the back there. Yeah. Scales, there you go. Yeah. So I had to buy more molds. Catherine is in a is in a correcting mood today. <laughs> ah, very good. What did she correct now? Oh, she corrected me. She corrected me when I said cut instead of turned. Oh, it's and either. Way. She corrected you with scales instead of feathers. No, oh, well, I need correcting. You don't need correcting, Lee, but it certainly is me. The <laughs> uh, the uh, what do you call it? The you, when you're when we're turning, you can call it turning, cutting, or carving. Either one is absolutely correct. Oh, and there it is. Shell, by the way, said it's a good design. Uh, dragons are the best. <laughs> I agree. Dragon, their dragons have been pretty fun. Here we go. This. this is what we've all been waiting for. I heard some comments. I don't know what they were, though. What do you think about um, uh, Shea by the Sea so far? Well, I don't know, other than the colors are awesome. Um, colors that I would not have picked to flow together look absolutely gorgeous. So you guys did a great job, and I can't wait to do this up here. And, uh, yes, yeah, Shell, in metalworking, it's called milling. Absolutely correct. You bet. And let's see, Shell, good design. Yes, the guy that makes these molds, he designs them in a 3D software, and then he 3D prints them on his 3D printer, and then he pours the rubber around that print and then pulls the rubber off. So he actually can create anything that you can imagine. And I've got probably 14 of his molds here. As you can see, I got plenty of the dragons, but I've got... This giraffe neck, which I just poured for Carrie last night with leftover cobalt and blue. And that'll be a pretty cool pen. And there's the dragon. The dragon. Those are worn out dragons. Real and quick. I've got this Real fish scale. Fish scale kind of thing. It's missing one. It, they do come off. So that one's, this one's okay because this part of the pen will be turned off. And you'll never notice that that's missing. You're still on, I don't know if you're trying to show things, but you're still on the, on the, uh, you know what, Lee? I, I am like half a genius, maybe by noon. 
Okay. Uh, and it's not new. Here we go. And, and number two, uh, I missed a question earlier. Uh, Jay okay. Lee, Jay Lee asked if, uh, or they were wondering if you, if you uh, redo a fire and ice pen, the light blue and and red like Mank Arts and Crafts uses. Oh, that is a cocoon blank. So you can go to cocoonblanks.net. And if you contact them, Jesse or Jim will get in contact with you to tell you if they have the stock or they might remake it if they got enough orders for it. So and I think the minimum remake is five. So if they get enough demand for it or it's sold really well, they may remake it. But that is a cocoon blank. So like I was saying, I've got these three worn out molds here, which I, I still use because I use this part here when I'm doing the two part mold. So I can do many at one time. So I've saved those. This was the candy cane mold. And I have since cut all the candy canes out of it, you know, the little stripes. And now I use this for casting two at a time. She said, thank you. And then you. this is a fish scale mold. And like I said, this one here is missing, but that's okay because it's on the outside. And as I turn it, that gets cut away. Here's another candy cane mold. It was actually a double candy cane mold. The rubber is great on the outside. It's just the inside wears out and they come loose. So that's no good. Another candy cane mold that we've used up. This is the footprints mold. Two-part mold again. What are you intending this, doing with all of these? I make pens out of them. So we, we continue to use them. We're just heavy bent in a different direction right now, but we'll come back to these. This is the leopard print mold, which we've done one or two pens on. This is my Sasquatch mold. So it's got footprints and the, uh, what do they call that guy? Not Sasquatch, but uh, come on, Lee. What is that? Well, there are so many different names. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. And then we got an American flag with a honeycomb. So we've got a lot of this guy's mold, quality molds. We like buying them. We like using them. We use the heck out of them. They're about, a uh, mold like this is probably about $28. And if I can get 10 pens out of it, then that means each cost in each pen is $2.80. So that's pretty good. Uh, thank you. Shell said, Shell said in milling in, in metalwork, it's called milling. We are going back to the turning. That's uh, correct. That is correct. That, uh, said that her husband does precision milling on military equipment. Heck yeah. It better and, be precision. It's military. And Mill John, Woods, John Wood says creating the Shea, Shea Butter C pen was fun. It was fun. It was a blast. Okay, let me go back over to the lathe because here's where we what we're really here for this morning. To see this here. Okay. And how's Discord going, Lee? Can you come here for a minute, please? Yeah. Got to go help the queen. Yep. What you got there, baby? Good morning. Morning, Carrie. Very good. She did everything herself except get out of bed. I had to help her there. All right. Here we just get rolling now. I think we're on the lathe, aren't we, Lee? Yes, we are. Excelente. So this is uh, one of the first batches of Shea by the Sea. Let me wet this just a bit here. It's too bad Shay's not here to see it. Oh, she, yeah, that's true. But she can watch the replay. She might be sleeping right now. That's what yeah, it looks I like. Been. Yeah, me too. But I got too much to do today. Be working from 7 o'clock all the way till about, oh, probably midnight. Okay, let's make the square thing round. Blower is on, so I won't be able to hear anybody. <laughs> So that means we can talk about him. (laughs) 
Yeah, I didn't say anything that we were going to say anything bad. I just said we were going to talk about them. All right. Ooh, that's smooth. Let's see the first peak onto the inside there. That is going to be very dramatic. Check mm -hmm. that out. That's going to be nice. That is cool. Let me check with uh, the queen to see if we've determined the turning style for this. Incoming, Carrie, incoming. Um, Jay Lee Lee, yeah, he's already what pulled. What have we decided would be the turning style on this one? He's already poured a second batch. You uh, say like butterfly or uh, baseball bat ends? No. Don't know yet? Okay, so we'll do baseball bat ends. We'll do it to a 0.55, you think? Or does she like fatter than that? Maybe 0.63? All right, we'll go to a six three, and we'll figure out something in the middle here in a minute. We'll see what the what the blank tells us to do. Okay, baseball bat ends in point six three so far. The the bet Jay Lee Lee is that he's gonna have to that he's gonna have to make about five batches. That's the bet based on what we've seen as far as the colors go, because he's got one for Shea. One is going to, one is going to uh, carry, I believe, and the other three are. Uh, excuse me. One, one went to. Uh, I forget the name of the person that it went to. They won it in a giveaway, and then the other two are going to go up for sale. So he's already made two batches, and we're betting it's going to, you know. The other two, the he's already made another batch, and now he's, we're probably betting for four. Yeah, that's who I was. I couldn't remember the name. I can now. Mm-hmm. Right, that's what I was saying. Well, damn it, you can't hear my voice? Damn. <laughs> there we go. There's a point six three on that end. <laughs> but um, if I step over anybody, I'm sorry. I'm just talking out loud. Can't hear you though. Fine. The blower's on. But yeah, Jay Lee, Jay Lee had asked, you know, if you're going to give be. Uh, creating more so i was just filling her in on what was going on <laughs> and, and, and of course jay lee, lee wants one that's her favorite color a little bit more uh-huh well that's what she's gonna yeah, you just got to go to the website, J. Lee Lee, and you can get one once it's posted. Did what work, Denise? I'm a little rough on the edges this morning. I'm sorry. No, she's not. Um, I I did invoice. I did invoice. I'm going to also put up the... Uh, 
there is the website. Man, look at that. That's what that's gonna look cool. Okay, or, Carrie. So what is this? This I can hear by the or, way, not turn the blower off. What is this one telling us to do, Carrie? Should it be gumballs? Yeah, I was going to oh. say that. I was going to say that or Mentos. I don't think Mentos would go on this one, Lee, only because I want to be able to see all of this swirl. And with Mentos, it sort of dives in the middle. Right. Well, this can't be skewed because this would look funny skewed. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Yes, ma'am. We could. We could. Yeah. So you want two rings on your side with the big viewing window like Catherine's? Yep. All right, let's go that direction. Let's see where that takes us. Let's get us some... All right, and and Jay Lee Lee to answer your question, you just go to the website that I just posted. That's their Leopard LW. That's their shop. You go there. You look. You look it up under what is it under pre-orders, Carrie? Shay. Just look up Shay. Just look up Shay. Okay, just look up Shay. That'll take that'll that'll take you to the pen and you can order it from there. I don't know who just had put put their TV on, but if you can turn it down. Um no, it's somebody else because I can hear the I can hear the label like there's no tomorrow. Um sorry about that. And Denise, how I did that was because of the fact that I'm a moderator. The only people that can the only people that can uh, post links is the moderator and the owner of the uh, channel. Yep. Well, of course you can. You're in, you're 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 part owner of the channel. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Jenna, and thank you. Um, I'll keep an eye out for that. There's a lot of things about Twitch I still don't have any clue about. Oh, oh when he had a when he had the first raid from Twitch, I almost turned around and booted everybody out out of the thing, thinking it was a uh, somebody being a smartass. Yeah. Yeah, but not because I can see when I'm in StreamYard, I can see both both chats. So 
That's why I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is this? Thank you. Uh-huh. And thank you, Jonna. I appreciate it. Jonna said I was a great moderator. Um, speaking of moderating, um, or being a great moderator, are you doing your drops today? Because you had mentioned doing great you mentioned doing drops on YouTube. Oh, wait a minute, today's Saturday. Never mind. All right. I was thinking it was Friday. Don't mind me. You got all that? Okay. I blow us off. I can hear now. Yay. You're not deaf. I'm not deaf. I think I heard Catherine say something. Yeah, she said, she asked if you liked it. Yep. Well, I'm going to like it. I'm going to love it here in just a minute. I love the colors. It's, it's almost Mardi Gras without being Mardi Gras. KK said she likes the turning style. I believe KK is a female anyway. My apologies if you're not. Yep, don't know. Thank you, Jay Lee. This is called Cheerios with the viewing arch. I just named that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, so you can see still lots of pen, but it gives it a little bit of style without getting in the way. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm actually talking to somebody in China now through Alibaba to see if I can price those out and see if I can get them. So they're available on Amazon, but they're actually dang expensive. So what I'm trying to do is go to the source, get rid of their markup, and only get the actual tips. I don't want, um, yeah, yes, ma'am. I don't need the wax, but that did that did send me in the right direction. So thank you for that. Yeah, unfortunately, I may finish all the shea by the seas before I actually get the the things because if I can negotiate with China. And some of those manufacturers over there, <clears throat> it might be three or four weeks before I get them in.
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no question. It's just going to take some time to work it all out. Catherine, it does. Catherine, if you could hold on a minute, please. Yes. Yes. Jamie Lee, um, this is Carrie, uh, Yeah, she can't hear you for some reason. Just let her know, Lee. All right. Jay Lee, basically what it boils down to is you let them know your finger your finger grip, what you want for a finger grip, baseball bat ends, rounded ends, pointed ends, whichever the case may be. Uh, and you know, and, and the measurement, yes, I know. <laughs> and the and the and the measurement of the finger hold. Uh, she was saying the center cut is basically the center cut. But what I so the question know, is, can, can know, Jay, hey Lee, can Jay Lee Lee hear you? As far as I know, she can. Okay, Jay Lee Lee, if you can't hear Lee, let us know. That's a lot of Lees. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my question though is, if if she wanted like vases and whatnot, can she say, you know, can I have that for a cut? So the Shea cut will all be like this. This will be the Shea Lee Lee. Oh, this Shea Lee. Oh, I see what she's saying. Okay, that's where I misunderstood. That's my that's my problem. Yeah. Um. Yes, I know, Catherine. <laughs> Give me a second to catch up. A lot's going on right now. Um. Yeah, you just you just message them in Facebook. Or email, yes. I, I, I lost my words there. That's my fault. <laughs> uh, you message them either in email or in Facebook and let them know, okay, here's my measurements. And in case you didn't hear it, there is a video in YouTube on their, on their YouTube channel that shows you how to measure your finger, your finger grip so you can tell them what that is. It's in the instructional videos playlist. Yeah, that. <laughs> that, that right there. And, Jonna, if you're talking about the pen, the, the way the pen is cut, that's always that can always be repeated. Uh, but if you're talking about the uh, pour, of course, they can pour in another batch. They have the recipes so that they know what colors were in it. I'm already up to 15 and 15 cast. And there are, I think, probably four available, maybe three or four available on the website right now for inventory. If it gets to about 14, we'll just increase the inventory by five and then do another batch. I'm trying to catch up with all of the comments because it's like, you know. You bet. It's a handful of juggling. Well, between that and I don't really like interrupting comments and whatnot, but it's like, where do you where do you cut the balance, you know? Yeah, you got you'll figure it out. We have 15 that we originally put in there. We've made three batches so far. There's one more batch that we're going to do that. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, you need to increase the inventory by five then, and I'll do up another, another uh, pour this evening. You're welcome, Jenna. There's always going to be plenty, though. So, Lee, do you think I need a new rag? You've been saying that for a month. I know. I think it might be time. So, get a new rag already. <laughs> the problem is, that one is so broken in. So full of polished that you know it's just so nice to use but 
gets to the point where you can't use it anymore. So here's where, the new one. Where it's have a new we one heard just that for before? Shay Shay. <laughs> I said, where? This is, a, this is a new rag just for Shay Shay. That's it. Shay Shay gets a new rag. <laughs> it's all nice and clean. It's all nice and clean. You know how Shay is, you know. Yeah, there you go. It's not religious. <laughs> that sounds terrible. It's unholy. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's what I that's what I was saying. It's well, but it's perfectly broken in. I don't care. It's got fifteen holes in the shorts. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Super soft, super absorbent. And Jackie, if you're talking about this particular pen, yeah, they, they are putting them up so that you can order. She's going to do another pour so that there's going to be more available. Uh, I did. Totally right I I did, I did um, post a link to the shop earlier, but here it is again, just in case. Okay, guys, are you ready? You can only pin one thing at a time. Hey, Sarah, all you have to do is uh, order one on the website, and you're on the list. And if you don't order it now and we get to 20 and sell them out, we'll increase it by five and do another pour. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Oh, man, check that, that out. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's right. Well, you'll be getting it anyway to take a picture. That's right. That was the right pen style, too. Fits in your hand just like that. Hey, Carrie. Yeah, hey, Lee, you want to stick that in the chat? Stick her email address in the chat there. And Jay Lee Lee, you can just shoot Let Carrie an email and she'll respond with all that she needs. All right, let's buff this baby up. This thing looks like like a marble. That looks so pretty. My goodness, this thing is just. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, I was watching the video last night, and there was a lady talking about what you really need to diamond paint. And this is the perfect example of Jay Lee Lee diamond arting for four years with the pen that comes with a kit. That's all you really need. These are all wants. And th that's why I appreciate everybody purchasing and allowing me to turn them and stuff because they're not a need. They're definitely a want. Yeah, look at Sheila. Updated pen makes all the difference. You know it. Well, let me switch cameras here to the buffer. That's Denise. She'll tell you. She's got to have a pen. This is, oh, wrong one. This is jewelry. That's what this is. Same dress, different date. Yeah, that's what Sheila just said. An updated pen makes all the difference. Uh oh. Ah, just the big nuts came loose. They do that. Yep. So, <laughs> we just get a couple of crescent hammers here. Sheila, 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 I'm up to four fancy pens and three are from Tim and Gary. <laughs> Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. And Carrie, um, Pauline asked in 
Discord. Uh, well, she says she hates to ask, but do you know approximately where she is in the rotation for for her uh, for her one pen uh, or for her ones to be turned? She just doesn't want it. She just doesn't want to miss them. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. There it is. I swear that looks like a marble that you would dig out of the mountain and make something out of. This pen is made of shayite. Shayite. <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. Hey, Karen, I'm new to this and I just messaged you did I, on Facebook. Did I do it right? <laughs> This is Don. Oh, I'm Don. Hi, Don. How are you? Bye. recommend it. It's upsetting. Hey Carrie. For Kimba, Dragon Spirit, five and a quarter or six inches, because you have a question mark in the length and I don't know which is which. And Kara says, Good grief. What time do you people get up in the morning? It's Saturday. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So to answer your question, on the nights that I go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, I wake up usually about 6 in the morning, and I, I don't have to set an alarm. I just wake up after about six, six and a half hours of sleep, and the bed kicks me out, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Carrie is a night clubber, so she'll stay up till 2 or 3 in the morning when she's not, you know, with the foot surgery thing, but two or three in the morning. Um, and then she'll sleep until 11 because she's an eight and a half to nine hour sleeping girl. Um, when I'm working overnight, I usually go to bed about four or five in the morning and then I'll get up at, you know, 11, 10, 11 kind of thing. But I only need six hours. And I'm rolling. Like yesterday I was helping Carrie. I literally was her feet. She was sitting on the couch. Get me this. Get me this. Get me this. I need this now. Go find this. Get this now. I need this order number now. You know, so she was fulfilling the shipping and I was her legs. And by the time we got to the evening, I'm like, man, I'm exhausted. I've been up for about 36 hours and I just need to not do anything tonight, but wait on Carrie and then go to bed. So that's what we did. Yeah. Hey, uh, so let me know five and a quarter or six. Now you said candy stripes. But you said candy stripe, but I don't have a candy stripe thing here. No, I don't. <laughs> here we go. And you're still on the buffer, by the way. Oh, well, I'm not doing anything right now but looking at the bench. So let me just I buy Troy. flip over Troy, there for a minute. Troy says he's glad to have seen the pen. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carrie. Your carrot. Yeah. Show what you have. Which one of those would you call candy stripe? The left. 
This one? No, the left. You mean my right? Yes. That's a candy stripe? That's what I named it. Oh, that's cool. So how long does this need to be? Let me know. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Nice and easy. Okay. Why am I All not right. seeing it? <laughs> All right, back with you again. Yep, I see that. I see that in the instructions. That's good. Kara just said, I'm calling Shay and waking her up if she's not up already. Her pen is being turned. <laughs> you go, girl. Was that Kara, the principal painter? Kara, the principal painter. Hello, Kara. That's the one that also asked, God, what time you people get up? It's Saturday. <laughs> yeah, early. Okay, Troy, have a good one. Have a nice day. Yeah, Troy. And Marsha, I don't know who the pen belonged to. It's just one of the Shea by the Sea pens. You know, what's funny is when I was younger, I couldn't wait to sleep. And the, the order I get, the more and more I want to learn, the more and more I want to do. And I, I don't want a bunch of sleep. I want to do stuff. And now this business has now introduced us to a whole crowd of fun people. So I'm like, oh, man, my life is rich. And I mean rich. Hang on, I'm drilling. I hear you beckoning me, though. Hang on. One more hole to drill here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got you. I'll be I'll be right there. Yeah, so this so I would say this last week and a quarter, Leopard Leatherworks has been limping only because I am the legs for both of us. <laughs> well, that's why we call it the limping leopard. No, no, I'll do it on my Let's flip this around. All right, here we go. Carrie. Have patience. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be fine. Honest. Carrie's up. It's going to be done right away. Carrie's up and on her scooter. Now she's mobile. All right. Dragon Spirit, 0. 0.63, five and a quarter baseball bat. Okay, let me get some bushings in here. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Don't try. You know what Yoda says? Do or do not. There is no try. Hey, Carrie, Marcia says she sent you a PMDM somewhere and you didn't respond yet. So I don't know. Oh, well, check Messenger. Maybe you missed over one. Who knows? Number one of what? Oh, so, so let me clear that. For all the shays, they literally just go in a bucket. Um, and then we pull one out and turn it for that customer. So it'll be random as to the blank you get. But again, it doesn't really matter because... You can't judge that outside of the blank as to what's going to come in the middle. And I'm telling you, these are all going to be gorgeous. In fact, the second one that I over poured, I think we poured that nice in. Hey, we got to do another one. Check out the, I can't even imagine what it looks like on the inside, but check the cut that I did. This is the one I overpoured. It's actually too large, but look at that. You'll see it in a second. That is going to be wicked. And that's for what? And Carrie, she messaged you on Facebook. This is uh, Shays. But man, look at the pattern in there. If I can get that on the, the screen, right? <laughs> Dang lights. Let me get rid of that light there.
yeah, keep in mind, guys, that each cut. Keep keep Look in mind that. that each cut is going to come out differently during the turn. You're never going to get the same turn on on any of the cuts, even if it's from the same mold. What you got, baby? You don't know what what is? There's two boxes. Put them Here's the bag. Oh. <laughs> I'm bringing the bag. You put it in the put it in the out box there by the back door. <laughs> there you go. These Thank you, Jonah. Like appreciate that. We uh, been married 40 years, so we're used to working with each other and working around each other and working with each other and. I'm the kind of guy that just doesn't give a crap about most things, so I don't get too uppity and uh, except uh, eating. Tim, Tim and Carrie, they're almost as bad as you and I. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Nobody's that bad, she says. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go deaf here for a second. And I'm about to get on my high horse real quick. Please have patience. It's a yes, it's a small business, number one. But they're getting so many orders, it's really hard to keep up. So things may get delayed. And especially now, where they're a half a person down, and I say half because she can still work, she just is slow in doing so. So things are going to get delayed. Things, responses are going to take time. You know, mails are going to take time. So have a little bit of patience. You know, don't sit there and say, oh, well, gee, my pen was turned six days ago. Did you mail it yet? You know, things of that nature. You know. Give them time. No, you only have one right now. <laughs> You were drugged, let's face it. <laughs> but my point, and, and I say that not only because of the fact of the situation now, but people are starting to get, you know, they're so used to, you know, gee, it's there already. And, but when it doesn't come, all of a sudden they get kind of, pardon the term, but they get pissy. You know, and you really can't do that. It takes time. It's a small business. It's a two-person operation. And when you're getting as many pens as they're getting for orders, I mean, hell, they just got done saying that, you know, they went away for a week on, on a vacation cruise and they come back and they're 30 pens behind. You know? Yep. Yeah, it's it's just I, I get kind of fed up with it when 
you know, when people come on, it happened to somebody else last night. They Somebody was saying that they're, they're starting to get a little bit of hate mail. And it's like, not hate mail, but, you know, gee, if I can't get my pen, what, what good am I buying here for type of thing? And I use pen only because of the fact that it's, we're here. But Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, really, people? You know, so I, I tend to get on, I tend to, I, I'm sorry I got on my high horse, but, you know. <laughs> Put them right there. No, just put them on the chair. That's okay. We'll probably switch them off. Oh, same one, just different color. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. All right, I think that one is done. Blow her off. Now my ear balls will be can hear again. But yeah, I, I don't think people need to be removed because, you know, they get excited. And boy, I think it's You're correct. You know what's funny is 
when we get communications from people and stuff like that, you could read that five different ways. And I always assume good intent, no matter the words they use. And I'm like, I just respond back with, hey, tell me what you need. But you're right. It, it, it may come across as rude or whatever, but maybe it's just inexperience as a communicator. I heard, what do you think about my idea for Shay's pen? And then I, I lost the rest, Catherine. Oh, my thoughts were that I may be all done with Shay's pen before I actually get the screw-in diamond painting pen tips from China. Um... So uh, I like the idea. I like the idea generally for anybody's pen because I love the idea of a screw-in tip. So um, I think it, it anchors it well. It doesn't fall out. It doesn't wiggle. You know, all the really good pros of that. The cons are that, you know, you can't convert all of your pens that way. Well, I guess you could technically, but it would get expensive. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a great idea. I got no issue with it. I just... It's probably more timing than anything else. Yeah, you know, it, it may be an option for the future. We just got to get them in-house, test them, because, you know, I'm going to have to put one together and let Carrie test it for a month or so to make sure that, you know, the, the, the tapped threads don't strip, don't wear out. And again, for some people, putting one of those screw tips in might be difficult. They might have shaky hands or something like that. And once you cross thread that tip in that that the thing, it's pretty much useless at that point because you can't put anything in there anymore. So, yeah, a lot of things to think about. But again, like any product development, we got to prototype it. We have to see how it works. R&D. Put it through the test. Yeah, R&D. Put it through the tests. And then uh, if, it, if it makes sense overall and... I would imagine the market will move in that direction over the years eventually. Um, okay. but, it, but even for them, it's all about expense and taking care of the customer. And, you know, will it create, will it create more problems than it's worth? That's always the deal there. So, yeah, it's a great idea. We just got to make it work. Yes, ma'am, I understand. And that's, that's one of the things I'm thinking about, too. No, it, that's why I say it's a great idea. Will it make sense? And it could get to the point where the application of that might increase the pen by 8 or $10. Will somebody want to pay that much for that pen? Well, they will if they really, really need it. But by and large, most of the crowd may not want to afford that. So we'll have to play. We'll figure it out. We'll do some product development. And, uh, you know, because, again, my <laughs> my – primary nature is I'm a business guy. That's what I do in the real world. I work on deals, sales, execution, technology, that kind of stuff. And a lot of that is uh, brand new high-tech retail products for the retail industry, such as I've got my guys developing an algorithm where when you enter a store, the camera tracks you. It doesn't know who you are. It just tracks you as a random number. And then it watches your activities. If you pick up items and those items disappear into your pockets, that creates an alert. Um, if you also come into the store, shop, pick up items, don't put them back or seemingly don't put them back and then exit the store, that does another alert so they can control their theft. And nowadays, you know, theft is getting to be a big part of retail. So 
It's all right. Yo. Yep. Yes, ma'am. All right. To scroll back a few minutes, uh, Stacy Hardy said that she agreed with Denise. People forget that small businesses are one or two people operations doing the best that they can to get things out. They they want big company turnaround, you know, which is unrealistic. Marsha said the shape pen Earthquake. I ordered. Marsha Marsha says the shape pen I ordered. I asked for baseball ends. I'm excited to try a new a new end. Shell says I'm not a fan of the screw in tips. I prefer a very narrow drill channel in my in my tips, and the screw the screw in tips Earthquake. have pretty wide drill channels oh that's right sorry lee denise said no that's fine you guys are busy doing things i'll just hesitate while you're while you're talking to one another today's fast world denise says today's fast world is spoiling it for businesses who handle customer service with kit gloves uh marcia said true denise and shell says it would be a good option but i'm not sure it would work being a standard feature there are a lot of size variables with the with the threading on the different tips different tip yeah. companies and see that's great customer feedback see that's that's you're talking straight to your customer and they're telling you hey could be an option might not be for everybody uh, it might increase the cost um you know so there are lots of things we can do and, and Catherine, as you know being a handy capable person is that Everything that you need and want to buy to make your life a little easier is not cheap. Yes, ma'am. Hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, take take our favorite. Uh, Tam I didn't see Tammy Short in here. Is she here today? I haven't seen her. Oh, take Tammy Short. I believe Tammy is in a wheelchair, so that means she's got some accessibility issues that need to be addressed when she wants to diamond paint or maneuver around or whatever it is she wants to do. You know, so yeah, there's different flavors, and and I think I saw the comment about you know little shops versus Amazon and stuff like that. And, you know, we're super up with everybody. If you buy a ready to ship pen, it ships pretty quickly. But if you want to buy a blank and have it turned and even watch it turn, that may take a few days because, you know, right now, Carrie filled up my order bucket. If I showed you my order bucket, you're like, Oh crap, I don't want to be Tim, but uh, you know, it'll take me a few days to catch up um, and, you know, get them out. And everybody has to know that, a few days they're going to wait are small comparison to the joy that they're going to have for many, many, many months to come or many, many weeks, depending upon how many pens they order from us Yeah, <laughs> or enablers yeah. outpost or wherever. Yeah. Jay Lily, that's, we all have that issue. It's, it's kind of hard sometimes because she sounds so far away. Uh, yes. I think Catherine, you know, Catherine has the accessibility issue. So she's using her microphone on her laptop. And uh, that picks up all the noise in her room. Plus, it's not right near her mouth. So so we all sort of pin our ears when we hear Catherine talk because we want to hear what she says. Because quite frankly, she's a pretty smart lady. So I want to hear what she has to say. All right. Here is. Oh, so this pen here, when we started mixing our own, I watched a couple of videos online of this guy who in the fountain pen world creates and this will blow you away five hundred dollar blanks they are works of art not the pen just the blank so we watched some videos of his and it taught us a couple of new techniques and this was the first i said carry carry we got to go pour something i just learned something i want to see how it works and it <laughs> not as good as his but in that direction. So this is pretty wild. And the detail that you can't see on screen 
will the little lines in there will just blow you away. This was like the next step of our pouring techniques that we're getting a little better at each pour we do. But this one, that was just off the chart. Let me polish this baby up here. And by the way, these are for Kimba. And Kimba has a YouTube channel. If you've not seen it, you should tune in. She's got some very chill whipping chats. It's called Kimba's Crafts, spelled with a K. K-I-M-B-A-S-K-R-A-F-T-S on the YouTubes there. And she's fun and chill to watch. Well, let me let me flip the cameras here. Ooh, be beautiful. <coughs> yeah, here's and, this. Isn't that nice? That That's is, a pretty that one, really Lee. Pretty. I'll tell you. Yeah, it is. Now, to catch up on, on comments, uh, Jay Lee says, so pretty. Stacy Hardy says, wow. And then she goes on to say, wow, as in it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Don said, wow. Jackie says, Jackie Williams says, beautiful. Anne says, that is gorgeous. Uh, Jay Lee said, found her and followed for. Excellent. We excellent. About Kimba's yeah. Craft. Oh, is that JD Lou? Yeah, Jay Lee Lee, since you won it on, on no, Shay's Live. No, no. I didn't know that's who it no, no. was. No, 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 no. That's not, Is that Jay not Lee her. Lee. No. Well, it might be her. It might be just a different screen name. Jay Lee Duke or Jay Jay Lee Duke. She was yeah, she Jay was Lee in Duke. here. She was in here during the pour. Ah, very cool. Okay. Oh, we got so excited. I was gonna turn it for the winner. Dang. Good morning. Good morning, Tim Son. <laughs> Blowers on can't hear. Uh, turn the camera. Check. Oh, got to swap cameras. He got it himself. I just I looked up at the TV going, uh oh. I tried I to tell see. you before you, I tried to tell you before, but I missed the timing. I'm gonna start telling him as soon as he's done showing doing the review of the pen. And Jay Lee Lee, all you have to do is go back. It's it's it was only a day ago. So you can always it's it was the last live he did. And it and it should say right on it's the poor. And Jana says exactly, Tim. Well worth the wait.
<laughs> Jay Lee Lee's got the route. She wants to know what's up, Lee. Well, it's up there. <laughs> I'll scroll all the way to the top. You'll see it, Jay Lee Lee. Okay, how is this one turned? This is Photo B, Gumballs, it looks like. Turning by Photo B, yeah. That's Gumballs. So it's, it is three Gumballs. That's one, two, three, four valleys. All right. Let's find the center here. This will be a good one for Gumballs. This might even be a candidate for uh, skew. got that pastel -y look all right let's go so we're going to need four valleys including right past the finger grips so one two three four let's get this nice and wide here okay so if i do it like that that's going to give me gumball 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 that's perfect three gumballs okay let's make our marks I want to play today. I think my finger's a little crooked there. there go. Good morning, Debbie Parker. Yeah, guys, all you have to do is use the at sign. And generally speaking, if you go to type the name as it's as it is in the list, you know, like in my case, Diamonds and Do, if you if you type D I, um, it should come up as in a drop down and just hit enter and it'll go in. Um, right, just the person with the at. Now, I don't necessarily see it because um, I'm in StreamYard watching chat. So in StreamYard, it doesn't highlight. Um, so Sorry I would... if that's a little annoying. Yeah. It's like Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber when he says, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> But I generally try to pay attention anyway because I have to read. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I tend to see my name from time to time. She's a serial starter. Welcome into Discord chat, Cat Sparkle Dust, or and Diamonds, yes. Reminds her of the dentist office, yes. Now remember, Carrie, he can't. Good thing we're not no. working on your teeth. Woo. Have patience.
Hey, Carrot. Okay, Sheila, have a good one. Kara, are you still in in Discord or at least in YouTube? I wanted to see if she got a hold of uh, Shay. So this reminds me of a caterpillar swallowed three gumballs. <laughs> Jay Lee says, my second home is a dentist office this past year. That's why I'm so familiar with the sound. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I had the last of my teeth pulled. All right, let's do some measurements here. On the money and on the money. Love it. All right. Well, that's okay. Sure. Turn the mega you... blower off. Mega blower is off. Even if she misses any any of the if you know if he turns another one even if he even if she misses it live she'll see it in the replay. Yeah, media mails, books, records, papers, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And Kat, I don't know if you're aware, but you are on mute. Uh, your microphone's on mute, so if you're trying to talk and you know, you're not getting any responses, that's why. And Jay Lee Lee, what was 15,000 last year? Her teeth. Her what? Teeth. She went to teeth. the dentist. Oh, man. Woo! Hope they're gold-plated and got your initials inscribed in them. Oh, yeah, that's them. not good, Stacy. Oh man. I made the mistake of having my teeth pulled and then having them cast the false teeth right away, which they do now, rather than waiting for my gums to stop swelling. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, they don't wait anymore? No. Nope. Don't have to, but they should. Yeah, they don't have to. You can opt you can opt to wait, but you don't have to anymore. Your your gums don't aren't swollen. Your gums your gums stop swelling. You come, yeah your the swelling goes down in your gums and then it and they feel better. I think they get a better fit. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, a much better fit if you wait. Yeah. Yeah, working for the county, you ain't going to make that kind of money to be able to have your teeth fixed. Mm -mm. Unless you got a killer dental plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she said she she instacarted a whole lot to make up the make the money. I believe it. I believe it. We're a DoorDash, Instacart, Walmart delivery kind of crowd. <laughs> we don't have time. 
If they're going to charge me the same thing and they're going to bring it to my house, done deal. Yeah. Which reminds me, I got to go to the store today. She wants Walmart uh, delivers. Well, no, nah, she wants uh, she wants an ice cream cake for tomorrow. Ah, because tomorrow's her birthday. Happy birthday, Lenore. Huh? Oh, I ain't going anywhere till after the live. Uh, it's not my birthday, it's hers. Is she 29 again? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> she says she said when she found out that what was going on with her with her uh, gift, she says, Did you tell him it was a, kind of a special birthday? This is what he means. She says, you know, you only turn 75 once. That's it. And most don't get there. Yeah. And for those of you in YouTube, do not forget to do all the YouTube -y things. Hit hit the like button, the thumbs up button, whichever way you want to look at it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so every time they pop up, you will know that they are going live. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How, I don't know how that or Twitch works, so I can't really comment to those. Yeah, join our Facebook group. Going to have another celebration soon. Done. Don, 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 you forgot to hit the like button? Sheesh, for <laughs> shame, for shame, for shame. Joe, hit it first thing. And what that does with the, the thumbs up button, the like button, whatever you want to call it, that tells YouTube that you like it and it may recommend it to other people, especially people searching for diamond painting or diamond painting pens or yep. stuff like that. It shows up on the search algorithms. Hopefully. I mean, we're probably a little small for that, but it will one day. Well, you're at 279. Yeah, we got to get to 500 and 4,000 watch hours or 3,000 watch hours to monetize the channel, which I'm not really, I mean, I don't know how we're going to make $12 a month or something. <laughs> Who knows? But it's the beginning. I can't believe they haven't banned me yet. Oh my gosh. The stuff I post, man, I'm surprised I've been banned, kicked off YouTube or Facebook years ago. Like this morning, my post, my one single post of the day on Facebook was Fani. Head narcissist or head gaslighter in charge. And that refers to that lady down there in Georgia who's lying. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Did we cast this one, Carrie? This looks like one of ours. This, um, what's it called? It's called Dragon's or Dragon Spirit, or no, Candy Stripes. Candy Stripes. Ah, very good. 
Ah, so that was the first one. Let me there's flip. Something you, there's something you rare, rarely see. What's that? 22 watching, 22 likes. Oh, beautiful. That's freaking awesome. Beautiful. Let me blow this one out. And there it is, all nice and shiny. Good morning, Alyssa, the diamond painting accountant. Hello, Alyssa. She's up to do some more accounting because tis the season. Oh, yeah, you know, we go past that almost every time we go down to Bucky's, Alyssa. And I go, look here, there's the Walmart DC, and then we know where we're at. Debbie Parker says that's beautiful. Denise says pretty. And mm -hmm. Marsha Hargis says, I want one of those pens. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm assuming the one that he's showing now. It's the candy striper thing. I don't know. We'll have to look. All right, this one, this is Groovy Girl. It's going to be five and a quarter. This is Cynthia's. Yeah. So if you want to message her, let her know we're going to turn it. That'd be helpful for her. All right, don't forget to change the camera. Yeah, we're not there yet. I'm just over the bandsaw right now, but thank well, you. I'm just checking. Hey, you got it, man. You got Last it. Last time I missed it, so... <laughs> right, so anyway, Jay Lee Lee says, Tim, it's great that you are involved with her hobby. Uh, Alyssa says, yes, I am. I brought about 15 returns home with me to work on. And Marcia says, this one should be wild. Sorry, I missed that last one. I had the bandsaw on. Oh, Mar who, Marcia's or Alyssa's? Uh, whoever was last, you just said. Uh, Masha said this one should be wild. Yeah, this groovy girl. This, this, the color combo. We ported for two different kits. It was the Little King by Diamond Painting Fanatics, and then Groovy Girl from uh, Diamond Art Club, and they literally match perfectly in both. Fenira, she's very good. And if there's anybody in Twitch, feel free to speak up. That's fine. We have no problem. Yeah, let me go see if there's anybody over in Twitch. If anybody has any questions, feel free to type them. I will break in at some point and read them to Tim so that he can he doesn't have to take his mind or his eyes off of Twitch. The there's two people over in Twitch. I think one's Dawn. I might be the other one, just monitoring it. Yeah, Don says she's all alone. <laughs> just me and you, Don, over in Twitch. But that's okay because she's also in Discord. That's right. 
All right, this is Groovy Girl, very multicolored. And again, looking at the outside of this does nothing for what's on the inside. In fact, let me show you the end that I cut off to make this a five and a quarter. Look at that end. You, There's gonna you, be... have, to, you have to change the camera angle. Oh, dang it, Lee. Jeez. And I reminded you. One of these days I'll catch up. And I reminded you. See that? You don't even listen to me. I didn't even listen. Didn't even what listen. <laughs> <laughs> if I get on Discord, my grandson messages me a million times. <laughs> well, that's not a terribly bad thing, Marsha, but I can understand the irritation. <laughs> Check out the end of this thing. That's, that's cool. going to be interesting. Yeah. I think that's about the only clue that you get what you're going to get on the inside. You're on the money. You are on the money. Okay, let's see. We got the length right. 0.63 baseball. I love doing baseball ends. It's my favorite end. Okay. Blower going on. I won't be able to hear. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, just to give everybody the option. If they don't like the baseball bat ends, is it so? Is it cut to the point where they where you can't where they can't send it back and get the round and pointy done? Ah, okay. Look how multicolored that is. There's the knife. I don't know. I think he's the blower's still on. I don't think he can hear you. She's she's got to double check, but she doesn't think she doesn't think it can be. She thinks it it, it would have to go to a whole new blank. But she's going to double check with Tim just to make sure. Well, well, I didn't think. I didn't think so, but who knew, you know? Yep. Well, that's the only one I'm going to get when I start, you know, when I, when I start getting some orders. <laughs> yep. Marsha Marsha Hargis says maybe gonna need another pen or two or three. And then she left. She says, Here, I'll just send you my credit card. <laughs> and Jojo is now here in Twitch. Yeah, I know that it gets boring. Uh, actually, actually, he already started, Jay Lee Lee. Jay Lee Lee was wondering if he was going to be making uh, trays, trays with the Shea by the Sea. If, if Tim was going to be making trays for the Shea by the Sea. Uh, 
And this one is Vases. Well, well, Marsha, you'll just have to watch the Leopard LW to catch the uh, to catch when they post them up. Right now, it's just in the experimental stage. Marsha wants a groovy girl. <laughs> Where do you see this done? This looks like you could eat it. It looks like the best taffy you never tasted. John says it's really amazing colors on that one. Marcia says she's patient. Uh, Jojo says it's going to be one one gorgeous pen. Marcia says Skittles. Skittles, yeah. Skittles for sure. Okay, here we go. Taste the rainbow. The and, that, and that's just it. You put Skittles on that, and that's what you'll get because you got a rainbow of colors in there anyway. So you have the rainbow of Skittles. Cynthia Gant says, this is fascinating. Hello, Cynthia. She's on YouTube. She's doing the YouTube-y thing. Cynthia must be a movie star. Look at that glamour shot she got on there. I can't see much little tiny thing on the TV here, but Cynthia looks like a she's a movie star. Jay Lee Lee says the bottle the bottle topper shape would make a cool diamond dart pen. Oh, for a minute I thought I lost sound. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah, Tim's made one or two of those. They're called palm pens. And don't mind me, Cynthia. I'm just the hired help around here. <laughs> yeah. I, th I thought I saw one. Uh, probably just me. Probably. K 
Terry's instructions for this pen are turn exactly as photo A. And I don't know if she knows me, but ain't nothing exact. Okay. <laughs> It'll be close. Yeah, that's what he's saying. That's what he's saying, though. He's, you know, he, it'll there will be some slight differences because it's handmade, you know, and that's what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. There is no exact. Oh, hush. <laughs> All right, let's do some measurements here. Perfect, perfect. Love it. All right, big blower off. Now I can hear again. Yay. Jay Lee Lee says, okay, I've, been, I've laid in bed for two hours watching. I need to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Lee Lee. Me too, Jay Lee Lee. I'll be getting up here in a second. Happy that, Little Grills. Now, that's a great username. Yeah, Happy, Happy Little Grills says that is stunning. Hey, what's the other one that's got the drills in the name? Like, Spilling the Drills? Yeah, Spilling, spilling the, drills. the Drills. Another good name. Spilling the Drills. And then, of course, Marsha. Yes, I must have one of those pens. <laughs> Groovy girl. Hey, uh, welcome and Happy Little Trails. Happy Little Drills. New name for me here in the channel. Glad you're here. I'm Tim. I'll be your host. Lee is our uh, head steward. He'll be finding you a chair and probably serving you a drink. Can you tell I fly too much? And if you look at the top of the channel at the pinned comment, that is actually a Discord channel where you will hear a lot of people in voice. Feel free to, if, if you wish, you can join that channel and then just hit Tim in the shop and you will be added to the voice. Hey, Lee, can they hear that still on YouTube? Uh, well, I don't know if they can hear everybody else. Obviously, they can hear me because I'm in the right the stream yard but can they can, i remember because i wasn't wearing headphones because they could hear everything in youtube right i wonder if that's still the case i have to open up the center for a dance tonight and building building sit so great excuse to lay around this morning that's really yes ma'am yes I, ma is that all you can hear is just me and tim no, 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 no. Hold on, Catherine. I had to fix my. Well, I had to fix my. I had to fix my headset. I couldn't hear you well. All right, now you can. You can hear what, Catherine? Because you're in Discord. How about YouTube? Is it going over to YouTube? Jay Lee Lee says, yep. That's I know you can hear me and Lee because we're both in the channel, but can you hear Carrie talk? Can you hear Catherine talk and all the other folks in Discord? That's the question. Mm -hmm. I told you that. Because I think that's why I'm not wearing headphones because it was going over, wasn't it, Lee? I'm sorry. I missed that. I was talking a little enough. What'd oh, that's say, okay. Tim? I said I said that's the reason I'm not wearing headphones with my Bluetooth in it because when I put those on, you can't hear all the Discord in the YouTube. That is, you can. Marcia yeah, well, says barely. Yeah, Marcia says barely. I don't know what I got. No adjustment for that, so I don't know how to make it louder. Yeah, it's not. It's not so much Discord we're worried about, uh, Joe. It's um, it was YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I wondered. Everybody if... else is saying just the two of us. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Just the two of us. You can shake it if you want. Just the two of us. You and I. <sighs> Don't give up your side jobs. Yeah. My other two. <laughs> You're not going on the voice. No. Oh, I want to go on the voice. Yeah. Of 
Groovy Girl is sold out, Marcia says. I think so. Not to check, but I believe so. Yeah, that's what she said. She said, Groovy Girl is uh -oh. sold out. I'm sad. Uh oh. Hang on. Is there no more Groovy Girls? Oh my goodness, that's sad. Do we have to mix up some more? I don't know. Mm. Well, that's a bummer. I'm still that's a bummer. So if you feel like singing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we have to put that on the schedule, Carrie. Remake Groovy Girl. I'll go over the table, Jay Lee. It's all there. It's over on the virtual table. Mmm, that virtual snack tastes so good. Yeah, I don't Marcia, even have to walk to the table. Marcia says, please. <laughs> so I think she wants a report. Tim, you want to perform for the seniors tonight? Yes, ma'am. I'd be happy to perform. What do you want me to do? So I don't know if it, when when Jay Lee Lee says Tim, you want to perform for the seniors tonight. Every time I hear something like performing for the seniors, I go back to the movie Best in Show. Best in Show is a mockumentary. In other words, it's shot like a documentary, but it's totally a joke. And when you see the people in it, such as Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara and thirty other comedians, I can't remember, but you'll recognize. Um, at the end of the show, Christopher Guest, he's a ventriloquist that's a dog shower, and uh, dog showing didn't go so well for him because it's all about showing dogs at a dog show. And uh, at the end, he is doing his ventriloquist act at an old folks' home. <laughs> so every time I, every time I uh, hear that, um, uh, that's what I think of. Sing so they can line dance, yeah. Yeah, and then Marcia said after that, boot scootin' boogie. <laughs> boot scootin' boogie, yeah, baby. Boot scoot boogie. I actually am a singer. I just need a yeah. sheet of music in front of me and 30 other guys to sing with. I sang with the Singing Men of Arkansas for a couple of years. It was a group that just went around and sang and raised money and all that kind of stuff. They went to Ireland and sang and all that. A pretty good group men's ensemble. Sang patriotic songs, some gospel songs, some typical Americana songs, that kind of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, she says oh, that is a hangout for 55 and over. Nice. That's me. And me. That's me. Marcia says I guess awesome. you could say maybe our uh, channel is the center. What do you think, Lee? Yeah, pretty much. It's a hangout for 55 and over, <laughs> although we'll take younger. Oh, yeah, you're too young, Catherine. We're going to have to charge you extra admission. Uh, Rosalind Rivera says, hello. Good morning, everyone. My mom and great-nephew are sick with the sea. Oh, the sea. Well, I hope they get better, Rosalind. We're glad you're here. I'm glad, yeah. Apparently, she is not sick. But I'm glad. Jay Lee Lee. She's over the kitchen. Oh, heck. Jana, Jana Lunch Woods for two bucks. Beautiful. Hey, Denise. Denise says me. Me what, Denise? Need a groovy girl, too? I don't know. Maybe she does. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm guessing. No, I think they're talking about the center. The dance? The senior center? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the wipe down, the polish, and then the buff. Ow. What do we know? I don't know. Somebody somebody just got a haircut. Oh, Denise says she's over 55. That's what it was. Me too, says Carrie. Yeah, way over. 
How's uh, shipping going there, babes? Lee, what time you got there, buddy? Uh, your time is 10.04. 10.04. So we probably got time for just one more, and I got to run to the PO. Like I said, that's your time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 10.05. I got to be done about 10.30, 10.45, run up to the post. I was only 10 minutes away, so. I don't know. What do you think you didn't mean to do? I was trying to work. I I'm sorry. I didn't that. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, Marcia, I'm uh, going to be 63 here in a couple of months, and I feel like I'm 25. Well, I don't, I don't. I don't act like an old person. Don't look like an old person. I don't feel like an old person. But if you look, so, you know, if you saw me, you'd go, "That dude's old." <laughs> well, my wife, my wife will be 75 tomorrow, Marcia. So. <laughs> You're the one that told me to tell him. <laughs> Don't you tell me to shut up when you're the one that told me to tell him. <laughs> Go ahead. Come here and strangle me. Why don't you sing while you're doing it? There you go. Put it to work. 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 <laughs> he puts me to win up work, she says. Well, I'm assuming that Kara had to leave and she never got a hold of um, Shay. Because I haven't heard from either one of them. Well, Kara was in earlier and she said she wanted to text Shay and wake her up if she wasn't already awake because she's, he was turning the Shay pen, the Shay by the C pen. But neither one of them has said anything, so. Yeah, I'll be 63 in October. He can't hear you. He's got the buffer going. Huh? What did I say? Oh, no, that was Tim. She couldn't hear Tim, or Tim couldn't hear her. Excuse me. There it is. Groovy girl or the little king. That's pretty Yay. cool. Yay. That's pretty cool. Oh, you're a kid yet, Rosalind. Oh, Rosalind's just getting warmed up in life. I love it. Let me tell you, Rosalind, my 40s were fun. My 50s were a blast. My 60s are really starting off well and i hope they end well because they're the funnest so far okay and that is that was for cynthia oh to be 42 to be 42 again though you know <laughs> that would be so much fun yeah knowing what i know now but yeah exactly I was, just, I was just gonna say the same thing and and your don't forget your camera yep okay i'm not doing anything yet but getting ready to drill a hole Let's see, how long is this one going to be? This is for Mrs. Jody. This is going to be called Silver Sweet Sea Queen. It's five and a quarter. So I've got to cut a little bit off. Jody is in Excellent. She might not even be up yet. Uh, Alyssa is only 26. Oh, man, alive. That I remember when I was painting accountant. Yeah, she's only a she's only a child. I don't even remember being twenty six. But see, when I was twenty six, I had two children. I was in the Navy. I think I let's see, I'd have been in about six years. So I was out in Washington on shore duty. Yeah, that was good times. I've had a good time my whole life. I've been hanging out with Carrie for 40 years. It's been been all good. I just don't have any bad memories yet. 
But we could start some this afternoon, right, babes? <laughs> Jay Lee Stick Lee my says, finger in the bear, going to get bit. Jay, Jay Lee Lee says, my son and partner feel sorry for divorcee mom and taking me to Napa Valley <laughs> and, Lake, and Lake Tahoe in July. I love feeling sorry. Go, go, go. Jay Lee Lee. Jay Lee. Marsh has lived in 13 states. All right, let me switch the camera over now. Yeah, the, the key about Alyssa would be that she has many more years of diamond painting ahead of her than the rest of us. <laughs> Good thing you got into it now, Alyssa. What ruler would you like? You need a tape measure? Okie dokie. Here we go. And he doesn't even have to make a square thing round this time. Yeah. There you go. Don said she was raised in the Air Force and Germany was her favorite, but settled in Florida. Don Sloat. <laughs> Alyssa calls her stash her retirement investment. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, tape majors can be dangerous. Jay Lee, Lee says, just West Georgia for me. I've lived in three counties. Does that count? <laughs> yes, ma'am, it counts. I would love to have only lived in three counties. Raised in the Air Force and Germany. Yeah, I like Germany. I was there for about, oh, three or four weeks during 2022 and had a blast over there. Well, that's what she says. Raised in the Air Force in Germany was her favorite. Yep. You're the world traveler, Catherine. Jay Lee okay, Lee, good investment, Alyssa, if you look at resale prices. That's it. All right, this one is five and a quarter, rounded ends, 0.55 finger hold. So these are the ends that we start out a little bit differently because they're rounded. So I got to make room for the round. Let me turn the blower on. Can't hear oh, now. Shoot, I forgot, I forgot to ask about baseball that ends. We remember we were going to ask him whether, whether they could be fixed if, if need be. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I believe you, but, you know, you never know. He might come up with some idea. Maybe. Let's get a measurement here before we get too far. You still got the blower on, Tim? Yep, he does. Point six three. Yeah. I mean, I'm just now looking at my baseball bat ends, and I'm like, yes, unless you shorten the pen, I can't see where that would work.
See, I was going to say, I wonder if you could if you could do that too. So the question is, Don. Let's see. Well, who is in the who is in Germany again? I forget. The question is, what is your favorite grocery store in Germany? I'll tell you mine when I see a bunch. And I visited all types. Yeah, Don said hers was a favorite. She was the one that said Germany was a favorite. Because I'm a retail guy, so I love visiting grocery type stores. Carrie, this is more of a question for you. Commissary. <laughs> Said uh, it, it, they're asking if uh, Marsh is asking about a passport if uh, the cruise happens. Passports are not required. And Jay Lee Lee, did, what's this about a cruise is the fact that Carrie and Tim came up with the possibility of having a retreat cruise about three three days or so. Um, Two bumps, gumballs.
Jay Lee, Jay Lee to paraphrase because she explained a lot. <laughs> to paraphrase, to paraphrase, she's looking in. She's she is also a travel agent, so everything would be going through uh, Leopard Leatherworks for all the all of the details. But she's looking into she's looking into cruise lines and the accommodations that each cruise line has just to make the best choices for time, availability, space, the whole nine yards, and including you know and being able to include family members you know, wife, husband, kids, the whole night, you know, all of that. So, and, and some decent group rates, you know, to try and make it affordable to everybody. And no, you're not aggravating me. This is part of what I get paid my 200% raise for is doing this. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Uh, thank you. Actually, I have to order a lid. I know. But the way I have things set up here and the way I have to have things set up here, I accidentally moved. I moved something to get it off my lap and hit the cup. And when the cup fell off the table, it hit the, you know, the lip that it has so you can lift the lid off of it. It hit that lid just right and cracked right across it. So I got to order another, I got to order another lid. My wife, Lenore, has been praising that cup ever since she got it. She loves that. She loves that thing. Well, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> it, it it cut the the rubber didn't slide when I hit the cup and it just tipped it right over and fell right off the coffee table right onto right onto a, a uh, tile floor. Yep. Uh huh. Not a problem. What is the name of this pen? I think you'll have to wait, Marsha, until Tim gets off the blower because Carrie can't see it. So she's asking what the name of the pen was. The one that he's turning. Blue and white, at least at this point. The name of this pen is. Silver Sea Queen. Oh, okay. He heard or he saw it when he looked up one or the other. <laughs> this is one we probably one of our first couple of months mixes. And I'll show you what I like about it. And I'll show you the things I've done differently since. Yeah, again, again it's it is a, a, busy a day. different effect in this pen. Oh, here, I need to turn the blower off. I didn't realize anybody was talking. <laughs> no, you didn't step on anybody, Tim. She just was adding to what you said. Oh, gotcha. I couldn't hear, so I'm like, oh, I need, I'm finishing. I need to turn the blower off. Not a problem. Well, Marion, sorry to hear you about your first husband, and I'm glad you found another one. Getting an echo. Hope you guys are happy. Why am I getting an echo now? I shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know. So to, let me explain something about this blank. So depending upon the effect you want with the resin, you wait either a certain amount of time or you go faster depending upon what you want. But the longer you wait with this resin, 
the more it won't blend with the color next to it because it's getting harder and it doesn't blend. However, sometimes you want them to mix, which means they're very near each other, but they have a very fine line between them. This particular blank, we pour early because we want the colors to be pronounced, but we want them to blend together. In other words, one mixing with the other, and I'll show you that in a second and show you the difference. And when you're, when you're casting, or yeah, when you're mixing and stuff like that, mixing the resin, you sort of need to know where you want to go, <laughs> and then you wait that certain amount of time to get that effect. Marcia, you are not having very good luck. Which pen sold out? Oh. She says another pen sold out. Dang. The Silver Sea Queen sold out, Care? Jeez. Yeah, we sold a couple right away, and then it just sat there for a bit. Now they're selling again. Yeah, well, since they're sold out, we'll check all the boxes to make sure to ensure that we don't have any more. Just to make sure. Yeah. Poor Marshall, though. That's what the second or third pen she's tried to buy. Yeah, <laughs> they've been sold out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marsha, but that's funny. <laughs> McGuire Air Force Base. Isn't that in, in uh, Lakewood, Washington, or Lake something, Washington, south of Tacoma? She was at McGuire. I think it's a big, what was that uh, fort? It was a fort there, too, an Army fort with a big Madigan, the big medical center there. Madigan Medical Center. Ugh. Oh, McCord. Where's McGuire? Is that New Jersey? I can't remember. Yeah, McCord is Washington. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never been stationed on an Air Force Base, but, but have been near a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. I used to go to Pease all the time. Just Oh, yeah, New Jersey, there. Fort Dix. That's right. You know where Great Adventure is, Marsha or uh, Marion? Great Adventure down there in the middle of New Jersey. That was one of Carrie and I's very first dates. Were we engaged then, babes? Okay. We must have been just, just got engaged. So last time we were at Great Adventure was the spring of 83. Marsha says, I'm glad that they are selling out selling out the pens means business is going well yeah business is going too well quite frankly i'm a busy boy <laughs> well that's why you needed to take last night off yeah, yeah. yeah i think and and personally i think you should take tonight off but that's beside the point i know yeah i'm gonna be sure, but, but, but i'm gonna have me some boy time tomorrow morning i got leather class with my buddy doc he's a uh, saddle maker in yukon oklahoma he's freaking awesome and uh, we hoot and holler and cut leather and tool leather and shape leather and all that good stuff. A lot of good fun. <laughs> Man cave. Lots of knives and hammers and tools around there. This guy made, he's in a different level of your typical saddle maker. Most saddle makers will make saddles between three and $4,000, maybe five when they're super fancy and He's in the he'll do the the lower end saddles and stuff uh, because he's just a great guy. But some of his saddles are in or most of his are in the seven to ten thousand dollar range. And then he just finished one that had more jewels, silver and gold on it that you could imagine. It was about thirty thousand dollars for a saddle. Could you imagine? Yep, he made made Carrie's our fortieth anniversary ring set. He's a silversmith and a goldsmith, too. The VA keeps replacing the hubby's parts. <laughs> Don will eventually have a whole new husband. I love it. 
Thought I heard something about it closing down. What was that, Sparkle Dust? Oh, Great Adventure? Could be. Could be. I don't know. Hope, hopefully Great Adventure is doing good because everybody needs a good place to go and ride rides. Nice. <clears throat> so if you notice this pen there is this white with the pearly stuff in it the blue the silver and is that brown or black in there care i can say that looks like black Oh, dark brown. Okay. What was that, Care Brown? Gotcha. And if and if you notice, the colors at their edges blend. It's not a sharp, defined line like in Shay's blank, where it's super distinct. So these flow together, which gives a whole different look and feel for the pen. Um, and I like both now. This is what you do when you're a beginner because you have to learn about the temperatures and play with the resin and stuff like that. But now that we're one more year advanced, and that doesn't mean we're advanced that far, but we're getting better where we can know which effect we want and then do it that way. Like Groovy Girl has a little bit of that blending, but not as much as this one. Okay, let me flip the camera over to the buffer. And it is just 1030 right now, Carrie. You got all the mail ready to go? One more package unless you want me to pack anything that you have. Well, I'll give it to you, but I want to get this stuff in the mail and we can pack that up and while I'm doing my uh, podcast. By the way, after I get back from the mail at 1130 Central Time, I'll be in a podcast that I am in weekly. It's a mental health podcast. In... Um, it is me and a couple of other hypnotherapists usually reacting to videos that other people are putting out and throwing our spin on it and stuff like that. Ah, there it is. As I'm spinning the pen, I can see the surface reflection in the lights. And I love it because as I spin it, it goes from a little foggy to super, super sharp shiny as it goes around and, be, and it gets puffed up. Cool effect. All right, let me blow the ends out here. And this is Silver Sea Queen with two gumballs. Nice. Yeah. You know, Lee, you don't have to wait now. You get it right in the stream. I know. Uh, I what? Yeah, so you get it right away when you're looking at StreamYard. Oh, yeah, I know. And see, in this blue, there's some glitter. Super fine glitter that makes it sparkle like a jewel. Very cool. Very cool. That's good. It's a pretty one. It's uh, a different effect than the other ones we're, we're doing now, but uh, we do both. Now we're getting a little better. Let me go to here. Yeah. Let me go to here. Nice try, Don, but I don't think that's going to happen. What's that? Don, Don says she put in a request for a Jason Momoa body for her husband, Still and she's still waiting. Yeah, I put that same request in. It hasn't come yet. Who brings that? Is that Amazon, FedEx? What is that? <laughs> or do I have to go get it myself? Because if I got to go get it's, it myself, it's fed that's too much work. It's fed <laughs> on. Oh, there we go. All right, everybody. Thank you for being here this morning. Spend a couple hours with us. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Carrie's got a bunch of stuff packed. I got to run into the post office now. And I've got my podcast at 1130 on a channel called Ryan Fowler. R-Y-A-N-F-O-W-L-E-R. -E Feel free to tune in. It's free, no charge. It's just a couple of hypnotherapists sitting around talking about 
how we help people uh, get better mental health, how people with good mental health upscale their game and become even more successful. So it's a lot of fun. Talk to you soon. See you later. We will have to get together at some point in time so you can give me these links so I can copy them down when you mention them. That way there, I can put them in the... In the uh...